Welcome to Reaction Zero. My name is Tyrell, and I'll be doing a short guide on how to obtain the Cyclops Decoy Tube Upgrade, Cyclops Docking Bay Repair Module, and Cyclops Shield Generator Blueprints in Subnautica. Your life pod will spawn randomly in the safe shallows, but looking at the aurora, turn right until you see some strange looking clouds near the water. We'll be heading just to the right of those clouds hiding the floating island. The mass of wreckage itself is about 1200 meters away and 190 meters down. You will not need any depth modules or special vehicle to get here, but the Seamoth is recommended for its speed and less worrisome about monitoring your oxygen. Just like every other area on a fast vehicle, rendering can take a bit to load in the map. Don't descend too fast if this is happening to you, or you can clip into the floor or just run into objects causing damage to your vehicle. I will be using an exploit on the wreckage to avoid increased search time and the requirement of the laser cutter. If you do not know this exploit, check out my Subnautica playlist to find said video. Make sure you pick up all blueprints on the outside of your wreckages before doing this exploit, or it has been known to not just delete the walls of the ship, but also the blueprints outside of the wreckages as well. Oxygen efficiency decreased. New blueprint acquired. If you're new, enjoyed this content, or would like to see me do more of the Subnautica guides, please drop a like, comment any questions you'd like answered, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.